Mario Kart Double Dash is my favorite game from the Mario Kart series. And within that game, Daisy Cruiser is among my top three courses. Seeing this track get remade for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has simply filled me with so much joy. And I cannot wait to race on it with its new amazing soundtrack and graphics. Greetings folks, my name is Swiftjar. Hello. And I'm delighted to welcome you back to the analysis and comparison series. This series is where we explore the history of a track from the Mario Kart series and analyze all the changes it has experienced over the years. As per the title, we are going to be exploring everyone's favorite cruise ship being Daisy Cruiser. Before we start, I invite you to subscribe to this channel so you never miss out on our Mario and Mario Kart discussions and to be part of our giveaway in the pinned comment below. Rightio, Daisy Cruiser debuted a Mario Kart Double Dash and is presented as the third course of the Flower Cup. It has since been remade in Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart Tour, and will soon appear in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's Wave 5. As the name suggests, the track unfolds on a spacious cruise ship, featuring multiple levels and a giant image of Daisy's head on the ship's exterior. Within the cruiser, players will encounter a dining area where tables move, a substantial pool adorned with a Princess Daisy image beneath the surface, and multiple interconnected passageways. Additionally, there is also a lower level leading to a sizable air vent. The best part about this course though is without a doubt the floral patterns which are tastefully incorporated into the ship's overall aesthetics. Piantas can also be spotted within the cruiser, joyfully waving at the players. Another really cool nod about this track is the fact it can be seen in other tracks throughout the Mario Kart series. More specifically, it can be seen in Double Dash's Peach Beach, Yoshi Circuit, Mario Kart Wii's Daisy Circuit, and even Mario Kart Arcade's Mario Beach. As mentioned earlier, Daisy Cruiser made its return in Mario Kart 7, and it appears as the third track in the Leaf Cup. Several changes were made to this course in this iteration. Firstly, the course's map has been rotated 180 degrees. All the arrow signs and the stars on the cruise ship have also lost their eyes from Mario Kart Double Dash. The classic Mario Kart logo has also been slightly resized and changed its gradients. All the Double Dash smiley clouds in the Sunshine Sun has also been removed. Following the starting line, instead of being forced right, players can now choose the previously blocked left path. The right passage now also has a wooden floor. Not only that, but the swing pool is also now accessible for driving and the Piantas have now been replaced by Mies. The banquet room also has fewer tables and the cellar is now an aquarium with Mies watching, with a swimming Unagi and Clampy's carrying items. The hanging lifesavers are also now unfortunately gone near the end of the course and the cannon has been replaced with two dash panels for normal driving. Daisy Cruiser then returned to Mario Kart Tour in the Ocean Tour. The track largely resembles its appearance in Mario Kart 7 with just a few changes. Firstly, there are no more item boxes sliding around with the tables in the dining room. They have also added new ceiling decorations in here as well, with my favorite being Daisy's crown as the chandelier. The ship's design has also been slightly altered with the stripes of the ship slightly changing colors. Yoshi and Toad Gardens now flank the finish line, while the banners showcase Mario Kart series items now. The Bose mast also appears taller this time around, and like other courses remakes, all the 3D artwork has been replaced by 2D artwork. Additionally, the starting banners artwork has transitioned from a white background with orange text, to now an orange and yellow background with red text. Now for the reason that we're all here. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe will bring back Daisy Cruiser as part of Wave 5 of the Booster Course Pass. It will appear as the second track of the Feather Cup. The course maintains its visual design for Mario Kart Tour, but with enhanced graphics. Yoshis and Shy Guys now occupy the tables in the dining section, although it is currently uncertain if the table's movement has been altered. Screenshots and gameplay footage though do indicate their presence in different spots, so I would assume they are going to move. Unlike in Mario Kart Tour though, 
the item boxes are once again mobile, which is really good to see. Foxy from the Swift Cafe Discord also pointed out that there are now Goombas floating around in the pool area. They don't appear to be obstacles, but it's still a nice touch regardless. Be sure you're in the Swift Cafe Discord server, where you can chat with Mario Kart fans and Nintendo fans 24-7. You may even get a cameo appearance in a future Swift Jar video. You can find your invitation along with my Twitter handle down in the description below. And finally, there is a lot more spectators this time around and even paratroopers flying around. And with that, these are all the changes that I was able to spot in Double Dash's Daisy Cruiser. I genuinely cannot wait for this track and I love how much it has changed over the years. Let me know down in the comment section how keen you are to race on Daisy Cruiser and of course, if I did miss any changes. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be much appreciated if you could leave a like and subscribe. Thank you! It honestly really helps out the channel a lot. I'm also gonna be live streaming on this channel the day Wave 5 releases, playing with you all. So be sure to jump in and say good day, or you can catch the replay I'll leave up on the channel. And finally, a massive shout out goes to all of our members. I appreciate it beyond words. Until next time, take care and goodbye. Thank you.